Hey, how's it going? I'm Podomi, and today we're going to be taking a look into our Blood War mod. It's been a while working on this mod, and we are very excited to share what we've made so far. This includes the release date and our current progress along future plans, and this is, this is really good, really good. Also, in the end of this video, oh ho ho, yes, uh, yeah, there's a very special sneak peek trailer, so, <laughs> which is really cool. Yeah, I hope you stick around. It would be nice to see your reaction. This project is massive. So far, it includes not only the entire map of Yarnum and Cathedral Ward, but also adds characters and weapons, to armors, entire UI system, and more. Yo, this is it! The, the rumors. rumors were true! Sure. Blood Bloodborne on PC! Sure, let's go! <sighs> oh, yeah, and yeah! Uh, yo, hell yeah. One last thing, if you want to subscribe to my channel, yeah, clicking that button will make me and you very, very happy. Would, would be, would be awesome, you know. Enough of that, let's get right into the video. Okay, so yeah, let's start off with uh, the characters that will be added in the first alpha mod. We currently have the Cleric Beast, uh, a Beast Hunting Executioner, the Huntsmans, aka Yarnamites, I guess, and the Giant Rat with Carrion Crow. Starting with these five mobs, uh, we'll gradually add more animations and content to this mod. So yeah, it's very exciting. If you have any cool or fun ideas, let me know through the comments. I'll be... I'll be definitely waiting. But yeah, moving on, uh, let's talk about character AIs. AI, yes, the power. So far, the AI contains target tracking, uh, basic combat, and movement navigation. So basically, it attacks, it moves, it tracks down. And it's really cool. I know there's going to be improvements, adding more mechanics into it, such as stagger, attack patterns, attack patterns, flexible movement, and, well, hopefully, would be awesome to see learning mechanics, but yes. And yeah, we'll be seeing that. And one of the things right now, currently, I'm thinking about is to make some kind of a rotation limit when attacking. Since, as you can see, when it when it attacks, it looks like a Beyblade when it's trying to... What am I saying? I need to get back to the topic. Okay, uh... Yeah, anyways, uh, I'd like to talk about character animations amount. Uh, right now, each has about two to three attack animations so far, and eventually we're going to increase that to 10 to 20 per mob, along with other states. Right now, we're focusing on adding the models in game with the AI so that we can ch just test it. Of course, the mod is in its early state, and eh, we're going to be adding like improvements to make it even better such as like staggering, uh, attack patterns, and flexible movement. Well, hopefully learning mechanics too, but yeah. So yeah, hope you're excited. Also, uh, here's a brief comparison of our mod and Bloodborne's AI so that... So to put it, we need to increase the per attack speed and add more movement so that so that we can prevent any stack moments of the enemy's behavior. As listed here, I don't know anyone that's knowledge with sound effects, music design, and even particles like VFX. So if you're one of them and you want to develop with us, uh, throw me a DM on Twitter. I'm, I'm totally down for any possibilities to, to make a fun and exciting mod. Okay, uh, next up, Player HUD. Yay, Player HUD, we have one. <laughs> This one, I, I hired a guy called uh, Tristan uh, to make a data pack version for the HUD. Uh, it includes the stamina, health, echoes, insight, insight, items display, and more, like titles and text and all this kind of really cool stuff as a data pack. It's, it's, it's crazy. The reason having a data pack version for this is mainly so that lower, lower devices can handle the, the mod while um, having a data pack version for it. So, so no one misses out. We also have a mod version for the HUD as well. Yeah, my man Bardo. This guy helps me a lot, especially when it comes to technical stuff. This one will include all the player HUD and a whole new custom inventory. I'll say we're uh, we're making all except the the dungeon stuff. No, no, not dungeon. No, hell no. 
uh, yeah, this is this is very exciting to see. Um, like having a custom inventory will be awesome, and I think it'll make the game a lot more immersive too. But yeah, uh, we are going to have a UI system for the mod too. Shee! Yeah, it's it's really nice, <laughs> really exciting stuff. Uh, yeah, this yeah, this is the the model list we are working on, and it's almost finished. So I would love to have one or two more model animators. So if you're one of them, throw me a message too. Before we get into the future plans, we need uh, need to take a look at our models and animations in Blockbench. Let's start with characters. The models you see here? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? Um, yeah. My buddies Anello and Robert. Yeah, they, they modeled and textured these really, really cool and high quality mobs and yeah, brought it to Minecraft. Top to bottom from the textures and the model design to the size scaling and the details, just absolutely crazy. Very exciting by just looking at them. And for the animations, CL Homes did a phenomenal job making the animations feel alive and natural while also keeping the animations similar to the actual game. Crazy. I can't wait to see all the entities, all the mobs, all the animations, sound effects, every single thing working in the game. Oh yeah, it doesn't stop there. There's more. There's more models. Yeah, we have objects too. Uh, these ones I made during my free time. Uh, made objects that I really wanted to include for a while. And yeah, glad I was able to make it. So far we have uh, the carriage a here, an elevator, the gate banging, wait, troll banging no gate anyways uh, we have a gate banging troll okay and the npc window a dog cage and man man there's there's many more also yeah i like it i like how how clean the pixels are it's, it's really nice it really fits the design oh shoot uh weapons yes forgot about these ones also made weapons and a few transform animations this is really good really good i like it um i'm very excited to see them all in game soon yeah yeah it's mainly the ones i just wanted to add you know they they're so good ah oh, i didn't include the the moonlight blade moon blade Gekoken. i don't know what it's called in english but yeah something like that i need to make that one soon oh yes uh guns too uh made a hunter pistol and the blunderbuss the plan is to like make some kind of a parry system in the future, but this would be awesome. Just wanted to make it, so eh. we have that too. So that's good. Yeah. Um. There's also hats. Yes, hats. Eventually, we'll be adding a, a full body clothes, but for the moment, I just wanted to make the hat. So so yeah, here it is. Yeah, I need a. I need. I need to walk around with Yarnum with these hats on my head. Yeah, it's not too detailed. It's like, it's, it's really in the, the perfect zone. The size is not too big too. So yeah, I think it looks good. Moving on to our future plans. Yes, uh, we will be working on this list right here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's good. Uh, we're also planning to have a blood gem mechanic so that we can add buffs to weapons and be cool. Ah yes, uh, an elevator. It's in the it's in the plans, but thinking about making a create modish functional elevator, just need to find you so that we can we can make it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so that we can like interact with it while moving. I was thinking about like making some kind of a you can ride it, but it's just it feels unstable, and I would love to be able to move around. Oh, the elevator's moving, so yeah, that's one thing. Also, and, and also a custom add on Epic Fight mod for the combat system. Because, you know, uh, so that we can have transform attacks, uh, healing motions, and more Bloodborne ish animations applied to the player. Because, why not? So I bet it's so fun. Just it'll, it'll it'll take some time and work, but it's it's worth it. It's worth it. Just just same with the elevator. Need to find someone that's interested in working with us. After this, it'll be pretty much done. I finished making the world, and 
when all these are together, we'll be able to release the world and texture pack for public and it'll be, it'll be good. It'll be really good. Also for the release date for this mod will be 2023, June 19th, 17th. <laughs> I don't know, bruh. <laughs> I'll, but I'll notify you guys. Uh, this will be on my website top page and notify you guys through my Discord, Twitter, and here in YouTube. So yeah, I uh, have the, all the notifications on. So yeah, uh, every link will be in the video description, so check them out. Oh, also, the person who's building the AI for the characters is Night Spring. For those who don't know him, he's the owner of Blood and Madness, and we're working together to make this mod really good. It's really cool to be able to work with him. He also just added three transformable weapons in-game, and oh boy, it's so good. <laughs> it's coming together! I'm, I'm so excited man, seriously. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the future plans. Woo! I want to give a special shout out to our Patreons, as everything you see here is a direct result of your incredible support. You guys are crazy, thank you so much. From the character models and the animations to entity behaviors, the data pack player HUD, and UI, everything everything you saw here has been made possible by your generous support on my Patreon. I appreciate your support, seriously, as as without it, it would the project would have taken years. So th thank you so much, you guys are awesome. I'd also like to do a personal shout out to the most contributors for this project. Hey guys, thank you so much, uh, Arster, Wear Jose, Me Man, Anthony Gonzalez, and uh, Brick Boy Gaming, thank you. And for the recent joined members, welcome. I'm Hyper Lover, Mountain Maid, Peter, Ken, and Twerpin. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Our goal is to make the mod feel like a Minecraft version of Bloodborne by making literally all the mechanics. I cannot wait to see your excitement and reaction. And yeah, hope you guys liked it.